uh, against Washington first half. It's Fortson the pretty reverse and since the up five early on later in the first half now Darnell Burton dials long distance knocks down the three. He had four triples in the first half since he up by nine at the half and Gary Payton looking on since he on the break Charles Williams to Burton to Damon Flint jams it down the big poster dunk since he up by 14 very next play now it's Sanford beating Bobby Brandon baseline and he slams it home in his face he had 18 points how about the former Sonic guard slick Watts watching his son Donald Watts driving by Flint elevating and jamming it down Huskies back within six, but Damon Flint has the last lap. Charles Williams up top on the alley-oop. Flint stuffs it down. He had 12 as Danny Fortson again leads the way for the Bearcats, scoring 22 points for on a Monday night. First half, time expiring as Sanders drives. Actually, that's the steal by Lavelle Sanders. He goes coast to coast. He had eight in the first half. Then Mario Bland can't score, but hello. Tim James slams home the miss. He had nine in the first half. Miami on a 13-0 run now. Alex Frazier with the steal, and he's going to find his teammate Lucas Barnes, who jams it down. Miami up by five. Seton Hall trying to get back into it now. First half, time expiring. Sanders drives. There's the freshman point guard. Shaheen Holloway drains the three. The Hall down by one at the half. Second half now. Donnell Williams for three. No good. And then the putback, well, symbolic of how the second half went for the Hall. Mario Bland back at it on the offensive glass. Gets his own rebound twice. The stick to itiveness pays off as he sticks it back up and in. And Miami goes on to win this one. They hold Seton Hall to a season low 51 points, allowing just 17 in the second half to win for the Southwest of Missouri. There's Kevin Stallings of Illinois State. And William Fauntleroy tries to track down the loose ball and falls into the own bench. He was shaken up but did return. Illinois State's Rico Hill now misses the shot, gets his own rebound, puts it back up. Two of his 15. Second half, though, Bears come back. Coleco Bowie knocks down the three. And the Redbird bench rather despondent as Southwest Missouri pulls off the upset. Danny Moore. State, and what do we have there? We didn't know what we had there. Johnny Gender had 13. Nothing doing on this one. And from the backboard, we go to back here. Shea Seals on the drive. He took control. 21 of his 31 come in a 10 minute 55 second stretch in the first half. Seals here, or Seals for three. Yes. He had 31, 91 75. Tulsa wins it. The 31 for Seals, a season high. He had shot just 25% in his last five games. But Jordan Tattoo, if that's not enough, Hamilton scores point number 23 for the Racers. Murray State up 23 12. We're all right. Why? Because we got Bubba Wells. Second half, Wells goes behind his back off the glass. And then Wells over three defenders for two more. And then Wells from the top of the key. He had 35. Austin P wins it 79-67. Big win because Austin P jumps over Murray State into first place by half game in the Ohio Valley. Rhymes with Taco May. Now he goes. Vincent Hamilton. Down he goes. Second half, Tyrone Liu. Guess what? Down he goes. Then K-State inbounds. May focus, Earth to May. Taco rhymes with Taco, not focus. Still nothing going well. Cookie Belcher misses the lay -in. Mickey Moore misses a slam. Can we have a basket, please? K-State here, Sean Rhodes misses. Mark Young, yeah, we got a hoop. Young, a game high 14. K-State wins at 61-53. K-State has two wins in the Big 12. Interesting ending here. Late second half, 11 seconds left. Game tied at 60. Jamal Robinson passed to Norman Nolan, who was fouled with five seconds left. Nolan's first free throw, he ganked it. Game still tied at 60. Jeff Jones wants to put Willie Durst into the game at the first available stoppage, so Durst reports to the scorer's table. Nolan's second free throw, no. Watch the clock. Cavaliers up one. Watch the clock. Wojciechowski, the length of the floor. Watch the clock. Wojciechowski is fouled. The clock started very late. Jeff Jones says, hey, what about the game clock? Let's take another look. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,000. It started late. 
The refs talk to both Coach K and Coach Jones what the problem is. One more look at why the clock operator had a problem. First, the light goes on after the foul shot, which means there should be a substitution. No one is submitted. Willie Dersh, the player who was supposed to be submitted, is cheering, blocking the view of the clock operator. The referees decide, rightfully show, so that there should be 0.7 seconds left on the clock. Wojciechowski allowed to shoot his two free throws. First one is good. We're tied. Jeff Jones not happy. Second one is good. Duke wins at 62-61. Harold Dean shirtless and tick. Norman Nolan is so upset that he would not shake Coach K's hand. Rest, but he didn't leave the chair because of a sprained ankle. Early first half, Jared Stevens puts Penn State up 4-2. to two. Indiana then went responded with a 30 to 6 run. <laughs> Penn State never led again. Charlie Miller with the slam and then he puts back the AJ Guyton miss and the foul. Who's your shot 53% from the field in the first half. A half that Miller capped off with a flourish from hitting from way downtown. He had 17 first half points. Penn State had 16 first half points. Miller defense in the second half oh. telling Calvin Booth Absolutely not. He had 22 points. A.J. Guyton had 21. The Hoosiers cruise, and Bob Knight stayed put on the bench. 81-57, your final. Dick Vitale. Rick Flair, the honorary coach for Wake. First half, Greg Buckner treated for back spasms. He returned to shoot just 2 of 11. Then, Andres oh. Yerkunas with a forearm shiver to Duncan. 20 times players hit the floor in this game. Dave Onum says, are you all right? Well, maybe Tim's play will tell. Takes the entry pass from Rutland and just rocks Clemson's world. Duncan at 18, Wake led three at the break. Second half, Clemson missed its first nine shots. Greg Buckner misses the Magellan. It was low risk. Terrell McIntyre misses the aim constellation, a high risk shot. He shot just two of 13. Clemson would then find the 401 k though. Buckner, Harold Jamison, dunk, foul, count it, pump it up. The free throw ties it. Wake up three, but Tim Duncan. Let me clear my throat. Na, 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 na. And one. Big fella also had 16 rebounds. Clemson down seven. Money. Merrill Code went to the bank. He had 12 points. Dave Odom a little bit concerned. 23 seconds left. Clemson down five. They went cold. Code for three. Wrong area code. McIntyre for three. Uh-uh. Tough win for Duncan and Wake. Nothing but love for you from Code. Wake wins at 55-49. So Wake shoots 33%. They commit 15 turnovers. Never won during his 11 years at Minnesota. Second half, Gophers up 11. A loose ball scramble almost leads to a loose ball beatdown. Charles Thomas and Jerron Cornell are separated by the ref. Rick Flair should have been at this game throwing out some DDTs. No fouls were called. Good no call. Under 10 minutes left, Purdue down seven. Chad Halston hits the three-pointer. He led all scores with 23. Gene Cady's team smells upset. It's what does upset smell like? Roses? Biscuits? Ham hops? What? One minute left. John Thomas puts it up and in. He had 12. Is it me or does Gene Cady look like the Boilermaker himself? Five seconds left. Purdue down three. Chad Austin missed a tray. Brand Cardinal launches the tray and missed it. Guess what? Clem Haskins has his win. 70 to 67 minutes. First half, Jacques Vaughn got on the bus. Slices through the lane, misses, but Rafe with friends had his school days. Rafe, seven boards total. Jayhawks D doing the right thing. Vaughn ahead to Jared Hass for the layup. Eddie Sutton needs therapy. Candace on a 10-0 run. It gets worse. Vaughn throws the Mo Betta alley-oop to the friends. And State has Mo Betta Blues. LaFrance had 22. No chance for a second half letdown. Roy Williams, intensity, more running. Oh, Paul Pierce has got to have it. Pierce, 15 points. Hass had 18. Mr. Jayhawks was going to start in Malcolm X, but they got Denzel. Kentucky coach Joe B. Hall imitating a Dell Brown tirade in a ceremony. Huh, that's me. Dell, though, liked it for a while. First half, Allen Edwards misses. Ron Mercer had his back. Mercer, five rebounds, 16 points. Kentucky up 20 at the break. More Kentucky. Anthony Epps, triple. Done. Six threes in the game. Epps, can I get a bounce? Can I get a witness from the congregation? He had 18. Then Gene Neighbors drives in. Goalie! Jamal McGlure blocks the shot, and then McGlure and Anthony Epps go for the ball. In unison now, 9.6 on the landing. Dell Brown says, please, come, come, help me. 84-48, Epps mm. 18 points and six threes, both career highs. He also handed out four assists to move into fourth place in the school's all-time assist list. Epps saying, first half, Larry Davis, I play my enemies like a game of chess. Three from half court, he had 24 that tied it at the break. Late second half, Georgia on the move. Michael Chadwick to Lorenzo Hall for the lay-in. Georgia goes on an 11-0 run. 5.6 seconds to play, Georgia by three. Ray Harrison misses the second foul shot. Herbert Davis pushes up court. 
Game time three pointer. If it goes, it doesn't go. So the game was not tied. And Georgia wins 77 74. 12th ranked side. And Anton Jameson get tied up. Strong goes down. He would stay down with a twisted ankle. Jameson, the second leading ACC scorer, seemed more interested in doing the City Boy bounce. Strong would leave the game with his ankle taped. But Strong would come back. Strong. Stronger. Three. Booyah! He was four of seven from three land. State up seven. Now state up one. Ashua Benjamin dribbles toward the sideline and turns it over. Herb Sindek is stunned. UNC with the ball. Ed Cota, the conference assist leader, says forget the pass. Baseline, I got my mind on the money and the money's on me. UNC up 45-44. Seconds left, you see the clock. State, one last chance. Benjamin dribbles up court to Strong. His shot is gank. Game over. Dean Smith, career win, 867. Anton is stoked. UNC wins at 45-44. Carolina gets their first conference win on the road. Misses the three-pointer, but Ra Rafal Biggis. Huge! Nova up by five. Still in the first half, Jason Mayo. We'll be saying his name a lot this highlight. The steal to Vontigo Cummings. That's a Vontigo lay-in. Hit up by one at the half. Second half, Alvin Williams hits the three. Nova back up by five. And that's when Jason Mayo took over. Mayo, the three-pointer and the foul. Pit within four. Mayo making his appointed rounds. One last play on Mayo's last name he puts a stamp on this one with another three mail finishes with 40 points he didn't mail it in huh oh.